All right, we got a winner. And it was a comment that was from a particular name. Here, I'll show you the name right here and the comment. Okay, so what I did based on that comment is I ordered that. And the reason I ordered it, and I'm, I'm not much on rigid. I love Milwaukee stuff and, you know, most of y'all know that. But the reason I ordered it is right there. You can see it says three quarter to one and a half, one and a quarter, what's that say? One and a half. Yep, three, three quarter to one and a half drain lines up to 25 feet. Now there's a lot of times where we get to a, a clogged drain and a full pan in the attic and the P-trap is clear and uh, the, the first elbow or two is clear and it's down there in the bottom in the crawl space or in the, in the wall in the, uh, you know, on the slab house, one of those bottom elbows down low and you know, it can be a lot of work. Well, a few times, what, what else I've done is this. I've taken a, a smart snake, and this is the best one I've ever found, smart snakes. And the reason, I'll show you the reason I say it's the best one I've ever found is it's got a little bitty cable, little bitty snake. And it's got that thing that looks like a marble. And it's got one tooth on it. See that tooth sticking up. So when that thing spins, it'll work its way through two or three elbows in a three quarter pipe. And uh, the, the reason I took this out is this, this whole thing spins. So you can't really hold it with a drill and it, there's no feed. I mean, you just feed it by hand and spin it. And it almost takes two people to really work well. And so that's the best cable, the best load. You know, that's the best actual snake I found. So the next thing I did when I started doing research is I bought this. bought this Milwaukee deal here and I really really liked it and I still kind of do but the the break or whatever you want to call it in here see you, the lock it it doesn't lock real good on a small cable so it came with something bigger like this and I can't get this to go past maybe one elbow I can't even get it to do that um, so I took it out, took it apart, and unloaded it, and found this one that's a little thinner, but even with it, when you lock it, you can still move it a little bit, so it won't necessarily work like it's designed to work. Uh, and I wish I could find one with a lock on the trigger that will lock it just barely spinning like that. So I thought, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll get a zip tie or I'll get something and wedge in here. I'll make this work. And uh, I'll work it up the pipe and, and lock it. But what, what happened is I took all this apart and, and the two, I'll call it a break. When you put the brakes on or the lock, whatever, it, uh, it's a little bit tight, but I can't bend the two pieces of sheet metal anymore and make them touch any better. If I could, and I could get that in it, now I'd have me something there. If I could get that smart snake cable, inside this Milwaukee. I believe I could clear most drains with that from outside. 
So, the comment that won, I'm gonna show his name one more time. The comment that won has prompted me to buy this. I don't like rigid. I'm a Milwaukee man, but you know what? If I can make this thing work, you're gonna learn to like it. Now you can watch videos on it, and it looks really neat. And it's got an automatic feed here with the wheels, you know, that direct it. So, while it's spinning, you can let these two wheels touch it and it draws the cable back in. Or you can push it forward and it pushes the cable out and you can feed it up in the pipe. Now, it says three quarter to one and a half, but I'm willing to bet that it probably won't go up in no three quarter pipe and it's gonna have this. Now I found one guy on YouTube that said he got one of these. There's your foot pedal. And unfortunately it's not cordless. That is very unfortunate. So he said that he got one of these and he cut cut the big spring part off and would get it to go up in smaller drains. Okay, my intention with this thing is just like I tried with the Milwaukee. My intention is to take this thing apart and see if I can load a smaller cable. That cable right there ain't going up in no three quarter. It might go in the pipe, but it's not gonna go through two or three elbows. And, and a lot of our drains, when they go into the house, they'll be elbow, 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 you know, right close to each other. And that, that ain't going in there. But I did buy the tool. So the winner did win. And that's why. So I used to allow 48 hours, and I just don't think that was enough. Uh, let's give it a week from today. Let's give it seven days from right now exactly a week at this time uh, send me a text or an email whichever you are more comfortable with that confirms the winner code i sent you as a message on your youtube account and that is how you will absolutely prove you are who you are and you are the winner so I have sent you a message on your YouTube username. I'm gonna show it one more time. Okay, there it is. Now I've sent you a message. All you gotta do is get those words and letters that I put on there as, a, as the verification code that you're the winner for the giveaway and send me a text and an email with that in it, your first and last name, your shipping address, and what your choice of tool is. Do you want the tube bender or do you want the S-Man? And uh, I'll let everybody know what the winner picked and, and we'll do another giveaway from there. All right, we got one week to find that winner to claim his prize. I'll keep you posted. I'll also be making another video of the progress with this thing and see if I can figure out a way to make something work the way I want it to work. So let's see what we got. Next giveaway is coming up pretty quick too. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.